Welcome back to Let's Mega Mech with Marlo Stingrays, where we're getting ready to engage in our first base attack. At least as the attacker. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, first, just kind of wanted to touch on a rules change I am going to. I'm probably going to implement for Contract 4. Um, you know, with, with Draco and the, you know, the prosthetics and everything. Um, the rules in uh, for ATB is actually vague when it comes to prosthetics. Uh, the actual official rules, the ATB rules, don't doesn't even really talk about you know prosthetics. All, all it says is you know how you heal permanent injuries. Uh, you know, and then, yeah. it's, it's a long and involved process. Uh, but then when you go into like the advanced medical rules, when you know dealing with lost limbs and so forth, um, then you're you know, it, it, it talks about how, you know, you can have, uh, for example, clans can regrow. It, it really goes more into clans than it does for the prosthetic. It says the clans can, like, regrow an arm and, like, attach it and so forth. Um, and it says, you know, in Inner Sphere, they can do some similar stuff, or depending on the grade of your prosthetics, you can get, you know, recover some of the, the, the penalties. Well, <laughs> and that's all it says. It doesn't say how much, you know, the cost to do any of this stuff and so forth. Uh, so what I did is I actually, uh, I, I tried to figure out, you know, where it talks about prosthetics in the rule books, you know, the actual official, you know, rule books. And it talks about it in the, uh, the RPG, the, the Battletech RPG rules. So what I've done here is I've kind of combined what uh, the EATB rules is doing, what the advanced medical rules are doing, with what I found in the RPG rules. And I've come up with this as uh, how I'm going to handle limbs, you know, lost limbs, and other permanent injuries. Uh, basically, when it comes down to the other permanent injuries, this is verbatim what it says in the, eight, the three, uh, uh, 2.31 rules. But up here, this is basically the difference of uh, uh, what we're going to be doing for like lost limbs and so forth. And even here, it has a chance of becoming permanent that can't be healed by a prosthetic, in which case you'd have to go down here to the other permanent injuries. And then when you get down to here, it's more expensive, and also you have a chance of actually killing the guy you're trying to you know, help. But um, I do have this up on our Steam group page to uh, take a look at and uh, review well, you know, a little bit more in detail and maybe re you know, reply or whatever. <laughs> Let's get on to the base attack. Um, let me close the A-team. I was just curious what they had. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to do my reinforcement rolls, and then I'm going to talk about how we're going to handle this. So, first I need my D6. Uh, Nokita Lance is in Fight Stance. So we need a 6 plus from the Proving Lance. We need a 5 plus from Marlo or the Mother Lance. So Marlo, Mother Lance, no. So no reinforcements, which is fine. Um, I was actually kind of preferring that because it creates it creates a BV nightmare. I, I wish I had a way an easy way of separating out like well I'll go over that another time. Uh, let's go into how I'm going to deal with this because well first off you know remember I reloaded the game here the the turrets that didn't populate well didn't populate again but also you know when we do base attacks against me it's like they have to do 50% of the damage to both me and my allies, or kill all but th like three of these. I think that's what I had it wrote down. And when you're on the attack, it actually changes. You're supposed to attack, you know, destroy all the base forces and 50%. It's not, it's not an or, it's an and instead. Um, and I'm supposed to keep 50% of me and my allies' units. And I was like, my allies? And I got to look them because you normally only have one ally. <laughs> we have more than one ally. We actually have all of this, and this dervish, I assume, is the liaison itself. Uh, but uh, so we're not alone in this, because I, I was kind of concerned about that at first. It's like it seems, it seems like a lot of stuff for just Nokita Lance to deal with. Uh, but what we're going to do is, I, I, when we go in here, I am going to go ahead and roll up six turrets for them, because that's what they would normally have. But I'm going to still call this the base unit. So we have to destroy all of these and 50% of this. And that's how we're going to deal with the base attacks when we are on the attack. So let's uh, 
do it, I guess. <laughs> Doki, let's go. Now there is a, we're in the dawn, but it's also a strong gale, so our archers are actually going to have a little bit harder time, you know, hitting with those LRMs. Our friendly dervishes are probably going to have a hard time as well. Now I don't know exactly how this is going to work when I actually load in their turrets. I've never done this before. I don't really know how they're going to place them either. They're probably going to place them stupid, and that's kind of why I'm not wanting. Normally they would be the base things you have to kill. Because I don't trust them to place them in anywhere that's any place way that's sane, uh, we're not going to we're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to call that extra units that they get to kill us with. Okay, it's kind of cool. The civilians are actually colored different too, so the, it'll be easier to see who they are. I like that. I guess I could put the turrets in the civilian things. Just. Let's call that all. Yeah, matter of fact, I will. We'll call that all part of the base units. But I do need to add them in. I don't, like I said, I don't quite know how to do this. They're gun emplacements, I think. I don't want clan ones. Here we go. But how do you, like. Is there a way to randomly select this? Rat for turrets. <laughs> I really don't know. You know what I could do? Looking to see if there's anything that jumps out at me, but I don't see anything. Really, there's Aerotech too. Oh, that's 30, 63 to 67. Well, wow. I really just look through these and just see what's like. What is the brush wars? I don't really know. Here's some against the bot. Uh, civilian? No. Okay, let me uh, go back into because we had one, and what what I think the problem is, the reason it's not populating, is I'm betting you know the houses probably have a turret section that it'll pull from. I'm betting like the periphery states do not. So let's go back to I think it was our first. No, it was our second. We had one contract that actually had a base attack that populated it correctly. Yeah, here we go. We'll just use these. So, LRM turret, LRM 10, AC turret, AC 10. Well, I'm, looking, I'm looking for this. Okay, add a combat unit. We're going to add these to. Civilians. Uh, pff, I don't know. I didn't really say single, triple, or double. And I can't switch back and forth while I'm in the screen. Welcome back. And yeah, this is actually attempt number two. <laughs> uh, I did this with, you know, before and I loaded it up and I realized the civilians, they don't start in the center, so the turrets had nowhere to actually deploy, and I think that was causing a hang-up. Uh, we're going to try it again. I actually put them in their own little group, and I put this group in the center. Uh, I still have to destroy these, assuming this works. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to get rid of the turrets and not worry about it, but uh, this should work. Just made them all duels. I, I did. I did the individual rolls, and for like last time, I don't remember what I rolled. So I just made them all duels and just calling it good. All right. Let's see if we have any better luck this time. Yeah. This doesn't really seem like a heavy urban map to me. Let me see. Oh, I guess it's town concrete heavy urban. I was reading that backwards, so. This is actually kind of a more of a, li a lighter map. Uh, 
Now, I was hanging up on civilians before. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Part of me wants to cut this out. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, this has been kind of, you know, if we, we beat this, we've, uh, uh, you know, we complete the contract. It's going to be a pretty short contract, you know, when we're going at it a week. And I kind of regret I've not really been done doing any of the cinematics. I, I don't know if I'll put one in front of this battle. Uh, kind of want to, but at the same time, I kind of just want to get through the contract. I mean, we, we, you know, it's ending. I just kind of want to get through it, get, be done with it, and go on, move on to the next one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had the whole... Uh, let me see here. Heavy track ABC, that's not too hard to kill. I really don't want to be right here in the middle of this. Not with the archers and the warhammers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of position them over kind of this way. But the whole, you know, the Merc's first loyalty. You know, it's interesting that we went from, you know, fighting for the Outworlds Alliance to, you know, attacking one of their planets. This is a planetary assault. They're actually taking over this planet. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to necessarily reflect on the map itself when we actually finish, but I, I, I don't think it, it will. But unless I don't know if I might be able to change it manually. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll look at that later. But I, I just really haven't been inspired to do any of the cinematics. Uh, there's nothing... The only thing that came close was... Uh, well... Episode episode 9. I, I really enjoyed that one. That That's the one where... Draco fell down, and then we somehow still win. win. That, that's probably, depending on how this one goes out, but so far that's been my favorite match. But uh, I think it was the match after that where we had the, the breakthrough, um, where I basically had forgotten completely about our friendly hunchback, and you know the Marauder, he turned around and just provided covering fire, and he was literally blowing things away. That was kind of I was came close. I, I, I had some couple ideas for what I wanted to do for a cinematic layer, but. I just didn't know how to make it work. I don't know. Like I said, this this was probably going to. If we win, yeah, they, they position one of their turrets good. Um, I'm just going to be pretty eager just to move on to the next contract. I think. Hopefully, something there will inspire me story-wise. What I don't know is how this works with, uh, like, the payout. Because we were scheduled to go all the way through till like, January. And, you know, each month we're going to get paid $12 million. I, You know, if, when we end it early, do I get all of that money? I asked on the uh, Mega Mech forums, but uh, I haven't received an answer yet. I've still got some time before I actually have to figure that out. I'll probably finish out this battle. Well, hopefully I'll finish out this battle. It's taking a long time to position stuff. There's a lot of stuff on both sides. As I said, this is going to take this battle is going to take uh, quite a while. It's kind of why I'm vamping here a little bit. I did get some of my books ordered. Um, I ordered uh, Attack Ops, Interstellar Ops. Total Warfare. I wanted Strat Ops, but they, it, was, it was out of print. I, I could have bought the digital copy. But, and I kind of want the book. I, I kind of want a book where I, I, I take it to work, or maybe just go out, sit on the sw swing, and just read it. You know. And I and reading the PDFs like on my, on my tablet or whatever, it just it's not comfortable. It's not fun. You know, it's it, it's just it's just a completely different. I, I've never I've never when it comes to books. You know, I've, I've tried buying books for my, my my phone or my tablet. It just, eh. I used to have a Kindle, and, and it, the Kindle was kind of nice. For well, I had several like BattleTech novels I read on that, but uh, hmm. just, just wait for this thing. 
uh, it, 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 with the way the Kindle worked, it, it was kind of like reading paper. It was actually really cool. The, 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 it didn't really have a light to it. As a matter of fact, you had to be in light. It was it basically the way it printed it. It kind of looked like paper. You know, it was like it was printed on it. Now I could move it and manipulate it and change the page, uh, but it, it wasn't like it is on the tablet. But when you're like reading like the the PDFs for you know the bit like the source books or whatever, they're, they're they just don't fit well onto that screen. And even like your tablet, it just it's just different. Different and annoying. Is it my turn to actually do stuff? I'm sorry. I wish it was prompt me. Hey, there we go. Do that fast, like you're doing. I like that. Are they doubling up on these again? That's what they used to do. No, at least not there. They might actually be doing the same. I just got home from work. I, know. I wasn't feeling too tired when I actually first started the program, but now all of a sudden I'm feeling a little droopy. More caffeine is needed. I gotta work tonight too. Hopefully we can get this finished up and I'll go to bed right after that. If it will deploy its units. I, mean, I could save like mid patch and try to reload it. I just don't want to do that. Or just leave it loaded and like sleep and come back to it. Don't want to do that either. I'd be afraid it'd mess up somehow. Or it'd be a power outage. I don't think we're supposed to get any storms or anything like that around here. Uh, where are Warhammer? Are you ready for me again? decide what it wants to do again. I didn't look at our BVs. Uh, we have to keep 50% of all of our guys. So I'm curious, like, if they lose all their stuff, is that more than 50%? Probably. They have a lot of stuff. I think these two dervishes aren't in the griffin. That isn't pushover stuff. Of course, I'm assuming I'll, I'll survive all my guys. <laughs> There's no guarantee that either. I need... This is really, the Nokita Lance is a really weird lance for me because my play style, as I think some of you have noticed, is I like to get in front and close and start punching people in the face. I, I love going, I love getting into melee. Uh, and this lance isn't really designed to do that. It's designed to stay kind of at a medium long range. Even so, Indio, he's such a bad shot, I have to get close anyway. And we're in a strong gale, so that's like a plus two modifier on top of his skill. Which is what? Which one is Indio? I think this one's Indio. He has a five. So, at a base, a seven, well, and dust. So, at a base, it's going to have an eight. That's a perfect, everything perfect. But the only thing he's going to hit is like these buildings, which I'll we'll probably have him do. We do need to get rid of these things. The CF isn't necessarily great. But I'll try to get these guys to swing around and like deal with stuff up here, and then hopefully our uh, FedCom forces can deal with the middle. Uh, maybe I'll start working on. I'm not really going to be in range to fire at these things though. I'm way, way far away. Who are you, Mr. Warhammer? I definitely want to get you like running up here. Let's see what would actually be. He wouldn't be able to see those yet. It's fine. The Scorpion would be nice to take out. This Panther has a PPC that might be problematic.
a little bit quicker now. Uh, like here, would he even be in range of this thing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Well, he would if he actually ran up to here. I wish I would have looked at the BVs before we started this match. Looks like they are going off full troll into this, so I might have to like, push in a little bit early. It's probably going to be a city fight no matter what I do. Fine. That's cool, I guess. But yeah, you can, you can see this. Can you target the building? No. All right, well, that answers that. What about you? hard to tell with these buildings. I kind of wish the buildings, I, I think I have ISO off, but even if I turn ISO on, it won't show me the elevation for the buildings. I guess it's an elevation six and five buildings. These are really tall buildings. And this, this down here is very hard to read. Oh, what happened here? Panther. Oh, wow. Well, getting an early shot on my uh, friends. Actually, crit the engine too. That pretty much knocks out that wasp. For all intents and purposes. Let's go and do a uh, check BV. Just I want I want the baseline here. Actually, no. They could lose like every single thing they have, and that wouldn't be 50%. It'd be pretty darn close though. What do they have? They have... Oh wait, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, they could lose everything we would lose out. They out BV... Well, they don't out BV us, but... Uh, I have enough BV to be problematic. Saladin can be problematic too. That AC20 can really poke some holes in some things. What is this? This is height 3 stuff. Let's, um. Uh, I really don't want to push in this early. What's the height of this stuff? Everything here is just going to be really tall. I think I really positioned it wrong here for, where, for what we're doing. Um, that in mind, let's go ahead and try to correct this. If I go here, it's not really great, but uh, let's go ahead and move there. We're going to turn around. Oh, this is the Archer anyway. This is Indio. Eh. What? This is pavement, apparently. Calm down, calm down. Let's uh, just calmly walk over there now. The wind is causing an issue. <laughs> He's 
He's actually a pretty good pilot. He could deal with that, but why risk it? Besides, now we got a shot on whatever this thing is. Their missile units is going to have difficulty too in this gale, just like we are. So that's nice. It's always the double-edged sword, you know. Where that stuff really comes into play is if, like, I didn't have missile units and they did. It's like, well, then it's obvious advantage. Okay, so the question is. Let's go ahead and advance. We just need to get you advanced. Oh, that's right. Stupid Gale. Okay, fine. This pavement's a pain in my butt. Who put this concrete here? It's like a death trap for mechs. Worse than a minefield, potentially. Unless you can do, whoa, dude, you wanted to get in the action. He is on it. I don't remember if a spotlight works in Dust Dawn or not. I don't really see the point. It's just a plus one modifier, and it will illuminate yourself. It's kind of annoying in that way. Well, I was going to look at the... Uh, there's the Shadowhawk here. What is this? A medium laser and AC-5. It's a primitive version of the Shadowhawk, but I've never seen that before. Let's go ahead and turn you around this way. Uh, all these reckless dudes. I guess he needed a negative one. It wasn't really that reckless. I don't think it's worth an LRM-20 to that. Ooh, I can see whatever this is, though. And this. Oh, that's that shadow hawk. What's he on? He is on a CF-90 building. Oh, no. I could try to shoot it, but I think I'd rather shoot him. Oh, well, it ain't gonna happen. Well, what would it be the target number? CF 75 building, he's fine too. Can I see this thing now? No. Can I actually see the building? No. Can I see the turrets? Apparently not. I don't think you can shoot the turrets, I think you have to shoot the building. Alright, well. I can get shot, apparently. Let's you get in then. Alright, well, you can see. This is. Who is this? This is the other archer. Uh, let's go into the LRM 20s. Can you hit him if you wanted to? Uh, not really. I'm, I'm trying to LRM thing. Oh. 
an 11. It's a 10% chance, basically. Well, what, 8, 9, 8%? Yeah. Very low chance of actually hitting with this. We'll just fire one. I don't want to heat up over that. Now, you could potentially hit with your PPCs. 11s. Or eh. he's cool for the 8s here. Let's go ahead and fire off a couple PPCs on that thing. Get some guarantees going. Elevens. No, that's the only thing you can see. Go ahead and fire off a couple. Alright, did anybody hit anything? The Maxim hit the Scorpion with a machine gun. Whole bunch of misses. Just one machine gun is all they hit. Where did the other Warhammer? There it is. Needed eights, rolled a seven and a two. Here we go, Wasp kicked. Tried to kick our dervish. Our phoenix hunt tried to kill the scorpion. Our dervish kicked one of their wasps, destroying a leg. Good, good, good. Uh, the phoenix hawk, failing his kick, fell, hurting itself at the front. The wasp, missing a leg, automatically fell, and of course hurt the pilot in the fall as well. That wasp isn't going to last much longer. Well, one wasp down, round three, uh, ready to go. But that was the timer, so let's go ahead and put a cut in here, and uh, uh, hopefully things keep going, uh, proceeding as fast as it has been now. So, until next time, crash and burn.